Yes, it's another Brutal Battle beer break. Uh, this time I'm going to be tackling a type of beer that I'm typically not into. If you listen to the podcast, you know this. It is a pumpkin-style beer, uh, some sort of pumpkin-flavored beer. This one in particular is from Terrapin Beer Company out of Athens, Georgia. Uh, it is a special release beer, as you can probably tell from um, the fact that it had wax here. I opened it off podcast, or um, off video at least, because it's a pain in the ass. It takes a while to you know chip all the wax away and then get the, the top off and all that. So um, I understand there's a, there's you know a good reason for having the wax on when they're like special release bottles a lot of the time uh, breweries will go ahead and wax them because that makes sure that it it's totally seals the cap so there's no oxidization of the beer at any point so when beers are just capped um, there is a possibility that they can become oxidized um, so they do this just to make sure they're very special beers there's no chance of oxidization so um, but I think it's a pain in the ass to deal with, and I don't like it. I'd rather risk it, because um, I really haven't had that many beers that have been oxidized. So, you know, whatever. But anyway, this is a very special release. There were only 33 cases that came into all of Maryland, which is where I live. So um, it was a big deal that we were able to get some. Uh, it is their Imperial Pumpkin Pie Porter, which is a malt beverage brewed with pumpkin and spices. And it is 9.2% alcohol by volume, so this should be a heavy hitter. Um, I'm not typically into uh, pumpkin flavor beers, um, but when it's darker, I think there's a better chance that I'm okay with it. So we'll see how this one pans out for me. As you can see, yeah, very dark as, as you would uh, assume from an, an Imperial Porter. You know, you can't really see anything. A little bit brown on the edges, not a ton of head to it. So have it's got some decent lacing coming down the sides because I mean it is 9.2 percent uh, pretty pumpkiny and if I make a bad face uh, don't think that this is a bad beer it's just you know my pumpkin thing um, it does smell like pumpkin obviously but it kind of smells a little bit like those pumpkin candles that you get that have that pumpkin scent but then they also have a decent amount of the spice to them I get like cardamom and cinnamon, a little bit of allspice maybe, um, but those are the major, uh, the major smells I'm getting. There's a little underlying chocolate in there, like at the very, very end of the scent, which is intriguing me, and I like the idea of there being some chocolate in this. It tastes just a, a bit astringent off the bat. But I get a lot of spices. I'm not tasting... I, okay, I taste a little bit of the pumpkin towards the end of each sip. But what I'm getting up front is alcohol, then quickly goes to the spices, like the cardamom, the cinnamon, the allspice. That's really fast. Um, and then it kind of finishes with a little bit of pumpkin. Actually, pretty well crafted in that uh, respect. Hmm. The mouthfeel is actually a tad bit thinner than I would expect for a 9.2% Imperial Porter, but it's not bad at all. It's not like it's extremely thin, so it's fine. Um, I'm going to be honest, this, this is not bad as far as pumpkin beers go. For me, it's mainly like the spices and a little bit of pumpkin, so I think it, this is something that I, I mean, I could continue to sip on. Mm. I'm trying to see if I can get any of like a chocolatiness to it. I can't really, I mean, I guess maybe just the, the smallest bit uh, because the spices are so um, predominant. Um, but yeah, pumpkin and spices, I mean, it's what it says it is. And um, I can see why this is something that got bought up very fast. Um, I, I bet that people who like pumpkin beers are really gonna like this, especially if they're into darker style beers as well. Um, let me go ahead and read about this. Tired of the everyday pumpkin beer? At Terrapin, we... What? Oh, the way this is written. The script is ridiculous. At Terrapin, we've set out to make one with more character. A lot more character. Bring this great feast of a beer to your favorite fall gathering and share with everyone who attends. Brewed with a cornucopia of deep, rich malts that complement a 
hearty fall meal. This spiced up imperial porter will have you asking for a second helping. Okay, well, it doesn't really have any, like, flavor notes, which is what I was mainly looking for. But, um, yeah, I mean, for me to say it's not bad as far as pumpkin beers go um, is a pretty good endorsement. So I would say that anybody who really likes pumpkin beers, if you can find this somehow, um, definitely get it, because uh, I think you'd really like it. Anyway, thank you everyone for joining me for this episode, and go ahead and check out the podcast, BrutalBattle.com. You can get us on Stitcher and iTunes. Uh, we're also on Facebook. Uh, look for it on Facebook, and I'm on Twitter. I'm Carlin at BrutalBattle. So, thank you so much.